Section 6.3, Off-Chain Computation. Some intriguing uses of oracles, such, such as the use of credential-dependent APIs, require that an oracle do considerably more than just transmit data. It may need to manage credentials, log into accounts to scrape data, and so forth. Indeed, given truly trustworthy and confidential oracles, something that SGX backs systems a la Town Crier and techniques such as zero-knowledge proofs can help achieve, the boundary between oracles and smart contracts may become fluid. Chainlink already supports a regex-based language for queries that enables users to flexibly specify the processing of off-chain data. Our long-term strategy, however, seeks to create a world where oracles are a key off-chain computation resource used by most smart contracts. We believe this will be enabled by building towards a model of fully general, private off-chain computation within oracles whose results are consumed by smart contracts. If this can be achieved with strong security, as we believe it can, pushing costly and sensitive computation logic into oracles will result in better confidentiality, lower contract execution costs, and more flexible architectures. Section 7. Existing Oracle Solutions Chainlink is designed to fill a pervasive need for new Oracle technology in smart contract systems. Unfortunately, today there is a very limited supply of highly secure and flexible Oracle systems. We believe this lack of trustworthy Oracles is a major impediment to the evolution of smart contracts. The most commonly used option for Oracle services today are centralized Oracle providers. This approach is problematic as it creates a centralized point of control and thus does not meet the high standards of tamper resistance that trusted smart contracts require. Some such systems attempt to remedy this problem by relying on notarization to prove correct behavior. This use of notarization services is worrisome in view of documented problems with these services and the fact that their attestations cannot be feasibly verified on-chain, resulting in a potentially recursive need for further verification. Another approach to delivering trustworthy Oracle data is to rely on manual human input of unstructured data. These manual input oracles are commonly proposed for use in prediction markets. By creating appropriate financial stakes and assuming economically rational players with limited financial incentives for cheating, such oracles provide a high assurance of correct crowdsourced answers. This approach is decentralized and flexible. Since manual input oracles obtain their responses from human beings, they can respond to questions for which structured data is hard to find or difficult to extract in a reliable way, e.g. requires natural language processing of new events. Unfortunately though, because human cognition is costly and slow, manual input oracles are resource intensive, not real time, and can handle only a limited set of questions at any given time. We believe that Chainlink could also be very useful for quickly and automatically resolving prediction market contracts that can be resolved by structured data. A final approach is to change the form of data at the source. If a data source digitally signed the data it provided, then the relaying server wouldn't need to be trusted. User-SC could simply check the signatures on data it receives. An excellent general approach of this kind is provided by TLS-N, as discussed above. Unfortunately, as already mentioned, TLS-N requires changes to existing infrastructure. Section 8. Conclusion We have introduced Chainlink, a decentralized Oracle network for smart contracts to securely interact with resources external to the blockchain. We have outlined the Chainlink architecture, describing both on- and off-chain components. After defining security in the context of Oracles, we described Chainlink's multi-layer approach to decentralization. We proposed a novel protocol with new features such as protection against freeloading, with additional protocols and security proof sketches in the paper appendix. We also laid out a roadmap for how Chainlink can harness technological and infrastructural advances, such as trusted hardware and digital signing of data by sources. Finally, having examined existing Oracle solutions and their shortcomings, we have exposed the need today for a system such as Chainlink.
Design Principles. As we continue our work on Chainlink, we will seek to prioritize the following core values. Item one is decentralization for secure and open systems. Decentralization is not only the foundation of the tamper-proof properties of blockchains, but the basis of their permissionless nature. By continuing to build decentralized systems, we aim to further enable permissionless development within the ecosystem. We believe that decentralization is a crucial component for a globally thriving ecosystem with long-term sustainability. Item two is modularity for simple, flexible system design. We appreciate the philosophy of building small tools which do one thing well. Simple components can be easily reasoned about and thus securely combined into larger systems. We believe that modularity not only enables upgradable systems, but facilitates decentralization. Wherever key pieces of Chainlink depend on or are managed by too few parties, we will seek to design an ecosystem which allows for competing implementations to be used. And the last item of this list is open source for secure, extensible systems. Chainlink is made possible by standing on the shoulders of many open source projects. We value the community and will continue to contribute by developing Chainlink in an open source manner. We plan to engage continually with developers, academics, and security experts for peer review. We encourage testing, audits, and formal proofs of security, all with the aim of creating a platform whose robustness and security can support future innovations. With these principles in mind, we look forward to extending the reach and impact of blockchains and smart contracts by making oracles a secure cornerstone of the ecosystem. After that initial section of the white paper, which I would say is at least four-fifths of the paper, um, there are sections not only for references, but also disclosures and some appendixes that they added on later, or at least I suspect that they added on later. Um, some of the appendixes do look really informative. You might want to check them out if you want to understand Chainlink in full. Yeah, good luck.